gonna take a sip of my champagne. <laughs> ah! Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just doing a fun, like, more neutral look. The past couple looks have been very colorful, so this time I want to do more warm tones and stuff like that and just have fun, get ready with me and put some makeup on. So let's jump right in. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyes first, but I wanna prime my skin. I'm very oily, so I like to prime ahead of time so it absorbs. Um, I'm gonna use the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. This was the primer I got in my um, BoxyCharm video. And if you haven't seen the BoxyCharm video, we'll link that down below. Right, David? Mm-hmm. All right. Just uh, get this going here. This is how I normally do my makeup. If I'm not actually filming, like the past few videos, I was kind of doing my face makeup and then just eyes. I don't really like my skin, but whatever. So now this is how I kind of do my makeup. Basically, if I'm not like filming lately. I do my eyebrows and then I'll do my eyes and then my skin. Um, that's just how I like to do it. Okay. <clears throat> I like this primer because it doesn't feel too heavy. I also got the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I haven't really tried it yet to tell if I actually like it but it's a little weird but I'll just put it where my pores are usually pretty big <laughs> it's like no method to this I'm just lathering it all on all right so Trying to be more quiet with grabbing all my things. It's very, very loud in the videos, I've realized. <clears throat> Alright, so a MAC paint pot. Prime my lids. Sharp, sharp, chart, tart, shape tape. <laughs> I love this stuff. Mine's like running super low. I need another one. Oh yeah, I've had that for like ever. to use this guy again but I'm gonna play more with kind of these colors Thank you. 
bronze. You just kind of like mix them all together. Now I'm gonna go into Perfectionist. Hmm. Not as much fallout with that one. Yeah, this is like a very similar shade. I'm just kind of like mixing it together. That first one was pretty orangey. At least it came off like that. <clears throat> All right, next, I want to go in with, I go in with a more of a crease brush, the M514. And I want to, a lot of these colors, I want like a darker brown, but this is probably the darkest brown, G Money. So I'll do a little bit of that and see if that kind of deepens the crease. And if not, I might jump in with one of those like dark maroon shades on the bottom. darken this up just a little more before I do like a lid shade so I think I'm gonna touch in lightly with crazy it's like a very dark maroon color almost I'm gonna use the same kind of crease brush just rub off a little bit of the extra product from the other shade If you hear a weird noise, that's my fridge. We started, if you can't tell, filming in our living room. So you might hear some random, random noises or people talking. <laughs> or cats meowing. I have two cats, so. So I kind of took this shade more in the crease all around. I just want to deepen up the edges a bit. Back in <clears throat> with Perfectionist. I'm kind of mixing it with Love Handles and Perfectionist, the two lighter shades. crease brush it's a bit tighter than the Morphe one so I'm gonna dip still back into crazy and build that up just a bit more What? 
a different kind of darker shade to mix with that. So I'm gonna jump in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna go in with Passion. This is the Norvina palette. So it's kind of similar to the Crazy, but this has a bit more brown. This color is like so similar you won't really see like I'm not seeing a huge difference I just kind of I really like Anastasia Beverly Hills's eyeshadows so it's kind of blending in nice together I don't really know how to say it. Anastasia 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 how would you say it Yeah, ABH. I feel like I can't do an eye look without like deeping it, making it look like deeper. Really layering the colors. Laugh at me one more time, Kendra. God, I can't wait to put my face makeup on. Still going in with passion. I really love this one. The whole top row is like shimmers and the whole bottom is mattes. Get a lot of use out of this palette. <clears throat> I think I might actually dip slightly into this shade Incense, Incense with like that transition brush and this is going to be like just lightly over top kind of warm it up a bit So I love to take rose gold and summer. So this is summer, that's rose gold, and like mix them and put them on my lids. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that and then I might make like a little concoction. I have this like MAC pigment in melon. It's a really pretty like orangey bronze color. So let's do this first. So I'm literally just gonna dip into rose gold and summer back and forth. Very pretty bronze shade. Just start packing that on the lid. That's why I like to do my eyes first because I can like feel the shadow falling down on my face. I can kind of clean it up and not have to worry about fixing my face makeup. All right, that's probably as far as I'm gonna get with my finger. So I'm gonna take this JH41, kind of like a flat packing brush, get a little spray. Same deal, rose gold in summer. Oh yeah. So I want to do a little bit with this and see how it looks. So on the back of my hand, I have this like Inglot, we call it Duraline. Duraline mixing 
liquid. So basically you can like mix powders and pigments with this and make it like a liquid product instead of a powder product. So I'm gonna take a little bit was a clump <laughs> literally rolled off um, and then literally you can just like oh, mix I'm trying to do this this is so hard mix it all kind of together it like makes like a cream product almost maybe I should have done that first and then packed like a dry powder on top but it's fine I'm just gonna kind of pat this rather than swipe. If I put this down first, it probably would have more did more of a swiping motion. But because I already have powder down, I'm doing more of a packing motion over top. Kind of amp up the shimmer. brush and dip back into passion that dark shade and just kind of blend these edges so they look a little bit cleaner come back over top a bit Just a little bit of crazy. Too, because this video is already gonna be so long do my foundation concealer powder and then we'll come back and I will bronze blush highlight and finish the look okay feeling more alive um, I did my foundation powder and some bronzer you'll probably see me put more on because I just love to be bronzed for the gods. <laughs> okay, let's do let's do some blush first. Let's kind of finish the face, and then we'll finish the eyeballs. So, my favorite, Too Faced. This is an I will always love you. Like you can't see it because my fingers are in the way. Very pretty, like peachy coral color. This is the Jaclyn Hill 06. I totally have something in my eye, but I just can't find it. jumping all over the place. I'm going to do a little bit of black eyeliner up top. This is the Scandalize Waterproof from Rimmel London in black. I also put a little black line over top with, I'll show you guys, I just got this liquid liner from ABH. I really, oh, wrong side. 
this nice little felt tip liner. Was real. Need my elbows on the table. All right. While we're in here, we're just gonna put a little down here. <laughs> David can't talk. He has like ferocious hands. Oddly like the way that feels. I feel like it scratches my eye and get a good itch. Um, 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 um. All right, let's put a little bottom. I'm just kind of rubbing. I have like some creasage. Some creasage. It's such a weird word. Okay. Um, for under my eyes. I don't know. I guess maybe we'll just go straight with the dark shade we did here. Crazy. And we'll use, since this has a similar color already on the brush, um, the Y20. I'm gonna get good at this and just remember what's what. I like no room to put all my things, so bear with me. mascara in this video. The last one I didn't put it on, I was mortified. <laughs> the shade doesn't like really go with, it's like kind of, oh, it's like coming off like purpley on my skin. See David's face poking up over the monitor. Okay, now I want to do, want to like do a little warm tone, thick skin. This guy way in the corner. Let's do a little bit of that to kind of mix in because this really pulled purple when it was by itself. Really smoke this out like out of focus. Cool. So, because I did my eyes after my face, this is now when I kind of take my transition brush and just really blend this edge. Right now it's like, it's really round from doing my foundation and stuff. Just kind of blend it out. Pretty. <clears throat> We're gonna take a touch of these two. Kind of do the same thing. Okay, just put on a little brow gel. 
pretty soon I'll show you guys how I do my brows. Um, I just haven't really got myself to start out on camera with absolutely nothing on my face. Because your girl don't look like herself. And I kind of want to try doing a more natural brow. I've been into this like solid brow for like some time. I want to try and do a more natural look, but we're not there yet. Is it this one? No, oh, this one. Just taking a pencil and feathering in. into these two. I'm just kind of like, I don't know, pat it on, see if we can get it to kind of brighten up just a little. do my mascara first. Sun is coming out. No, I know, but we can I can start to see it in the in the it's like affecting this area. Making sure. Doesn't really change anything. It's a little brighter. You guys like my Easter egg back there? Oh, you bitch. Okay, this is what I get for rushing. But I guess it's good because I'll show you guys how I get rid of that. The trick is to just let it dry. And then I usually just take like a little spoolie and kind of like scratch it off. So we'll leave that there. All right, so I popped on some lashes. Just brushing my lashes out underneath. All right, so to get rid of this little guy, basically just give it a scratch after it dried up and then boom, it's gone. Did I scare you guys? Cameraman says don't yell. Now it's just like my little final touches. I want to probably do just a bit more bronzer because I like the bronze. So this Fenty in Shady Biz. I like to mix my bronzers. It's a very pretty color. Ooh. Kendra's hyping me up in the background here. Cause David's on his phone, not paying attention. All right, this monitor's dying. We're gonna do highlight, but I like to set my face first. I'll show you guys how I put my lips on. It's nothing. It's nothing fantastic. So, Celebrity Skin Jeffree Star Lip Liner. I'm like not a symmetrical person. 
whatever, that'll do. Kinda wanna put this on today. It's the Lip Intensity. This is Smoked Almond from MAC. These are amazing and they smell so good. It looks a little funny because I've been using this for when I do other people's makeup, so I like scrape it off. Hills. Kind of just mix all the colors. Oh. just a little bit. All right, cool. What am I missing? Nothing. I think I'm done. Sit here and blend for days. Okay. I'm done. Oh, we've been rolling. Okay. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you guys like this look. Figured it was time to do something more neutral. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for my next video and don't forget to like and subscribe. It's neutral.